Welcome back. Let's review what we learned about diabetes and insulin resistance in the last video. First, remember that fruits, starchy vegetables, and other carbohydrate-rich foods are not the cause of diabetes. Our bodies are made to digest carbohydrates and break them down into sugar that can be used for fuel. That sugar is called glucose, and it is the normal fuel for your body. Insulin's job is to act like a key, allowing glucose to get into the cells. Now the problems start when fat from the foods that we eat gets inside the cells, and it can block the insulin key from doing its job. So here's a review of what's happening in our cells. Outside the cell, floating around in our blood, are glucose molecules, and that glucose comes from fruits, beans, grains, and starchy vegetables. Insulin is released after we eat, and it acts like a key to open the doors and let the glucose come into the cell. This gives the cell energy and is fuel for your whole body. However, fat can build up inside your cells, and scientists call it intramyocellular lipid, which is a technical term for fat inside your muscle cells. But that fat buildup makes the cell less responsive to insulin. What types of foods can cause insulin resistance? High fat foods, and here are some examples. Chicken, red meat, fish, eggs, oil, cheese, dairy products, fried foods, even healthy fats, if consumed in excess, can add to the problem. Avocado, nuts, peanuts, peanut butter, other nut butters. And if fatty foods cause insulin resistance, that suggests that avoiding animal fat and keeping vegetable oils to a minimum ought to help. And in fact, that's exactly what research has shown. By steering clear of animal products and oily foods, blood sugar control is much better than on a more typical calorie counting or portion control diet. And this fits with the observation that populations around the world that eat mostly plant-based foods have much lower rates of diabetes. That's right. Let's have a look at the most healthful foods shown here on the power plate. Fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes. Why are these foods healthier? As you can see, these foods have no animal fat at all and very little of any kind of fat. That's great. In addition, they are loaded with fiber. Fiber helps to slow down the release of sugar into your bloodstream. It also makes you feel full sooner helping control your appetite. Animal products don't contain fiber. Fiber is only in plants. Plant foods are also cholesterol free and are usually low in fat and low in calories. Let's look in detail at the four food groups on the power plate. Whole grains are a great foundation to a plant-based diet. They are really low in fat, of course. They are also high in fiber, which helps to maintain steady blood sugar levels. Some examples of whole grains include brown rice, whole grain cereal, whole wheat pasta, quinoa, oats, and corn. The legume family includes beans, peas, and lentils. These foods have carbohydrates that digest to release glucose very gradually, which is a good thing. They have lots of healthy fiber too. Plus, legumes are packed with important nutrients like B vitamins, iron, protein, and calcium. The next category is vegetables. We want to eat a large variety of vegetables. Choose a variety of different colors so you get the whole rainbow. Red, yellow, orange, green. Just like vegetables, we want to consume a wide variety of fruit. Now, sometimes people with diabetes are nervous about eating fruit because it contains natural sugars. But in this program, fruits are not limited and you can have as much as you'd like. People who eat the most fruit have lower rates of diabetes than people who eat the least. So enjoy berries, apples, oranges, pears, melon, and whatever other fruits you like. Keep in mind that our goal is to get the fat out of our cells. And luckily, fruits have almost no fat at all. The more we have whole grains, legumes, vegetables, and fruits in our routine, the more our ability to handle natural sugars improves. If you're new to this way of eating, you might notice that your blood sugar does go up at first, but 
This is normal because your cells are still insulin resistant. Stick with it and over time you'll become more insulin sensitive and you'll see that your blood sugar balances out. So those are the key foods, whole grains, vegetables, legumes, and fruit. You do not need meat, dairy products, or oily foods at all. One more quick fact. Some people reduce carbohydrate-rich foods to try to lose weight. But let's look at some numbers here. A gram of carbohydrate has only four calories. And that's true whether the carbohydrate comes from grains, beans, potatoes, fruit, or even pure sugar. In contrast, a gram of fat has nine calories. And that's true for any kind of fat, chicken fat, fish fat, olive oil, you name it. In other words, fat has more than twice as many calories as carbohydrate. So the best approach for both diabetes and keeping a healthy weight is to focus on the four healthy food groups, whole grains, legumes, vegetables, and fruit. And that will allow you to reduce fat and increase fiber in the diet and shed the unwanted weight all at the same time. Our main takeaway today is that eating a low-fat, plant-based diet increases your body's sensitivity to insulin and lowers blood sugar. By building meals from the power plate, you don't have to count calories or servings. You just get to enjoy wholesome, nourishing, delicious foods. Soon, you will try it out for yourself. See you next time.